Hey there, air signs. Welcome to What Does Spirit Want You to Know? Thank you so much for tuning in. So check it out, guys. This is going to be a general reading. We're doing all of the air signs. Um, if you would like to keep it cute with the whole sun, moon, rising, and Venus, maybe even Jupiter, go right ahead. But I have a suggestion here. I recommend that you guys look into your birth chart um, and figure out, like, see where the planets are and what signs they're in. If there is something in your life that you would like to, uh, to gain more information on, look up that planet and look at the sign that they're in and then watch the reading for that, for that sign because you could get some really vital information to the situation surrounding that part of your life, okay? I have some links in the description box where you can go to a website to get your birth chart and there are two, and there are two options. You can either do the Western version or the Eastern version. And I personally resonate more with Eastern astrology than Western, but I'm leaving the options open for you guys so that um, you can go with whatever resonates with you the most, okay? So um, this is going to be time stamped, all right? I'm going to put in the time stamp for each sign in um, the comments section so you guys don't have to like watch through the whole thing if you don't want to. Um, and how I'm, I'm doing this is for each sign, I'm going to pull an oracle card from the uh, oracle of the unicorns. And then I'm going to pull a tarot spread. This is the Crystal Visions Tarot. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull that spread in a, the same way as I do my general freestyle readings. So those are the readings that I do for the signs every month. Okay? So, guys, I believe that's it. Yeah, so let's get to it. Also, if you hear any noise in the background, those are just my roommates, yeah? <laughs> okay, cool, here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all air signs. Aquarius, Gemini, and, oh goodness, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, so sorry. All air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. What do you want the air signs to know, spirit? Thank you so much, spirit. All right, guys. So we are going to start. We're going to start with Aquarius. I'm just feeling called to do that, so let's start with Aquarius here. All right, Aquarius. Aquarius. What does spirit want you to know, Aquarius? Ooh, it's quite windy. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's quite windy outside. All right, Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. What does spirit want you to know? Aquarius. Oh boy. Aquarius. What does spirit want you to know, Aquarius? Get your oracle card here. There it is. All right. Underneath the deck, you've got nature. Ground yourself. Find a sanctuary in nature. Connect with the elementals. So, pretty straightforward. Ground yourself, yeah? Get some grounding. All right, maybe some of you might be a little bit too up in the clouds. Innocence. Take time to play. N nurture your inner child. Live like a childlike sense. I'm sorry, live with a childlike sense of wonder. Some of you may need to be re reconnecting with your inner child. Uh, and that actually could be why grounding is, or I'm sorry, nature is coming forward and why you may need to be grounded because there may be some inner child issues that need to be worked through at this moment. Okay. All right, Aquarius. Let's get into your tarot spread. What does spirit want you to know, Aquarius? What does spirit want Aquarius to know? I'm going to do one more shuffle here. Aquarius. 
All right, guys. Let's see what we've got. We're going to cut the deck. Boop. All right. Overall energy. Aquarius. The moon. Okay, so um, I feel like secrets are being revealed for you, okay? Or there is a situation where some secrets need to be revealed. Um, and I'm also getting energies of the moon cycle. So in this last full moon that we had, which was on October 24th, um, there might have been some things that have been drummed up or that have come up to the surface that are in need of healing. And this could have definitely be from the past life, not, not past life, excuse me, from... Um, your childhood, okay? So childhood wounds that need to be healed. Um, I'm really getting an energy of going within to find what's hidden from you, what you've been hiding from yourself even, okay? You've got the moon, which is cup, which have, you have the three of wands, the ten of wands, and the king of wands. Lots of fire energy, lots of passion. Also, the wands are a... Are, uh, about spirit, okay? So I really feel like you're going through a def a redefinition, okay? Um, if some of you have been trying to manifest Aquarius, I really feel like it's these burdens here, symbolized by the Ten of Wands, that may be blocking you. You might be, you might be, um, Sorry, guys, I'm just channeling here. Right, so with the... with Yeah, if you're trying to manifest things, um, what's going on underneath the surface, what has been hidden from you, what you need to kind of like go within and illuminate is what's going to help you release the burdens that keep you from your, your ships from coming in, okay? With the King of Wands here, this is... I, I really feel like you... This is, this is definitely energy of going forward, going into the the darkness to illuminate, okay? With a torch, right? The king of wands is someone that goes for what they want, all right? And is passionate about it. Goes for what goes towards what they're passionate about. So you could be connecting with um, a fire sign. You could have fire in your chart, specifically Aries, but also I'm getting Leo too because of this lion here, okay? First set of current energies for you, Aquarius, death. Yep. In Western astrology, as, as, West, as far as Western astrology is current, uh, I'm sorry, concerned, we are in Scorpio season. Death is the sign of Scorpio. You could be, you could have Scorpio in your chart. You might want to watch the Scorpio video. You could be connecting with a Scorpio. Um, but there's a transformation here. That is in the process of happening, okay? The moon is also Pisces. You could have Pisces in your chart. Um, or you could be connecting with a Pisces. Um, but again, this is this is not just love specific, okay? So uh, and more so, you could have Pisces in your chart. You could have Aries or maybe even Leo with your in your chart, because I was hearing that looking at the card. Or you could have Scorpio in your chart. But also, in Western astrology, we are in Scorpio season. Transformation is happening. Okay? Uh, death is coupled with... Shh, yeah, look at that. The tower. Um, and actually, the tower is Mars energy. This is creative energy. Mars is ruled by Aries. So you might want to watch the Aries video. Okay? Um, but yeah, I mean, there was a situation in which... Yeah, there, there's a tower moment here. You're, I, and you're really, you're really going through a transformation because of this tower moment, okay? 13, no, that's 16, all right, cool. I thought we were in succession here, but no, it's 13 and 16, all right. Um, second set of surrounding energies, Aquarius, we've got the Three of Cups. This could, I'm hearing reconciliation here. Um, needing to go out and have fun. Spend time with friends and family. Three of Cups is coupled with the Knight of Swords. This could be you, Aquarius. But I see the Knight of Swords as more of a Gemini energy. But about this is communication. You really might need to communicate with someone. You might need to, um, you know, talk to someone about something that happened in the past. You know, hash things out. 
I feel like there's something from the past that has been just neglected. It's just been swept under the rug. And so that's why this need for communication is coming out as the Knight of Swords, because now it's kind of like, it's pretty aggressive in nature. You know, it's something that's needed to be talked about for some time. Okay. Okay. Your current challenge, Aquarius, we've got the Ten of Swords. So bringing this situation, the current challenge is bringing the situation to an end, getting to this Ten of Swords energy, getting past the worst of the situation and finally bringing it to an end. Okay. Ten of Swords is coupled with the Wheel of Fortune. What did I say? Closing out the cycle. Because for some of you, I really feel like this is something that has been going on for a long time, just over and over and over. The cycle keeps going. And the cycle may have kept going because it was hidden from you or you were hiding it from yourself with the moon. And now this is finally... And also, look at this. In the Innocence card, you have a full moon there and you have a full moon in the Three of Cups. So over this next moon cycle, or the the last moon that we had on on October twenty fourth, was that tower moment, really brought this up to the surface, or something happened at that moment, and now you're needing to heal. But what I feel like, because I, I do feel like this has something to do with the inner child, um, I feel like if something new, if there was a new tower moment that happened over the last full moon, it kind of reopened this wound from childhood or from the past that now you have an opportunity to end to heal finally to bring this to a to finally bring this to the end okay closing message for you aquarius what the spirit want you to know two of swords got to make a decision you got to come out of this out of this decisive energy you have to finally look at the situation two of swords is coupled with the Four of Cups. Now, in this deck, the Four of Cups is different to me because instead of being focused on the three cups that are spilled, or in this case, that have nothing in them behind her, she's actually focused on this single cup, the Ace of Cups. So to me, this is a card of self-care, the Four of Cups. And to me, this is about, especially since you have the Three of Cups here, Aquarius, this is an energy of, instead of focusing on what everybody else wants, why not focus on what Aquarius or what you want? Focus on the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Cups is all about self-love, guys, okay? And the King of Wands, in this situation, is, as the King of Wands is underneath the deck, this is energy of going forward with something passionately. And this is in service of yourself. Okay? So there it is, Aquarius. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Yeah? So I'm just going to take a second to reset. And we are going to get into Gemini. We're going to do Gemini next. Two of Swords. No, nope, I'm sorry. Six of Swords. Okay. So um, Gemini. And then you have the Page of Swords underneath the deck. Ooh. To me, this could be you. Either the Page or the Knight of Swords could be you, Gemini. Um, you could be watching something, someone. You could be moving forward. And the Six of Swords popped out. Um, I really feel like for some of you Geminis, you are learning. I mean, Geminis, I feel like Gemini really loves to learn anyway. Um, and Gemini also loves to travel. But uh, what I'm getting here with the Six of Swords, yes, you're traveling, but I think this is in a mental capacity. Um, you could be moving to a new state of awareness um, with ooh, Five of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Queen of Cups, Ace of Swords. Yeah, learning. Um, you could be connecting with a Cancer. Cancer could be in your chart. Something could have happened here underneath the deck is the Knight of Wands. All right, so Sagittarius energy as well. Um, but moving forward passionately towards something. Quickly, too. You could be learning some things um, in, in, uh, surrounding intuition. You could be expanding your intuition. But I feel like this is happening because of the Five of Pentacles energy. You might be feeling left out in the cold, um, destitute, 
uh, impoverished. But that's illusionary here, okay, with the Seven of Cups. You're needing to trust your intuition to get the insight that you need. And you're working towards that because with the Page of Swords energy, I really feel like you, Gemini, are working on learning something new, okay? You also could be spying on someone. Just saying. Someone could have made you left. Someone could have left you out in the cold. Um, you could have been dealing with a breakup. Uh, it could have been. It could be with a cancer because the Queen of Cups does symbolize cancer for me, or maybe just another water sign, Scorpio or Pisces, but mainly cancer. Um, and so you could be watching them. You know, watching them walk away from you, maybe, or just move away from you with the Six of Swords. Uh, with the Seven of Cups, you could also be coming to con to an understanding of what was what happened in the situation to cause it to, in essence, come to an end. And with the Ace of Swords, I really feel like you're going to get that information, Gemini. You're going to reach that realization. You're going to have that aha moment, okay? All right, Gemini. So let's see what your Oracle card is for Gemini. Woo! Too many. Too many, too many, too many. Gemini, what do we got for you, Gemini? What does spirit want you to know, Gemini? Boop! Prosperity. All right. Uh, underneath the deck, you have freedom. Live wild and free. Choose your freedom. Claim your independence. And then with prosperity here, this says... A gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Managing your finances with love. So maybe you could be, some of you could be um, embarking on a new entrepreneurship endeavor. Um, you might be getting a new job. You might be getting a promotion in a job that will give you a new sense of freedom. Um, something with maybe less responsibilities or less... Um, dictation, more freedom in, in jobs somehow. But also prosperity is telling me that um, you're quite abundant. So if you're coming, and then freedom is also giving me a, a single energy. Some of you may become, maybe recently single and um, you've got an abundance of choices out there maybe. We'll see, Gemini. All right, what's in, what does the spirit want you to know? Overall energy, you've got the five of cups. Regret, remorse. Um, this You could be dealing with a breakup, Gemini. Um, I'm getting an energy of regret and remorse from situations from the past, maybe even your own actions, okay? Five of cups, a couple with, yeah. <laughs> Woo. The Ten of Swords. So the situation is over. The worst is behind you. And that's a good thing. All right? You've got the Page of Cups. And you've got the Moon. The Moon came out in the overall energy for Aquarius. So you might want to watch the Aquarius reading. Okay? Um, now, here's the thing. You've got a situation that has come to an end with the Ten of Swords, okay? And what I really feel like is happening here, there is regret and remorse, yes, but there's also an energy of introspection, learning, especially with the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is the dreamer. The Page of Cups is um, a message of love, could be an apology, could be reconciliation. But what I'm getting here is... Um, self-discovery, learning about yourself on a new emotional level, okay? Understanding yourself emotionally and from a greater point of view, all right? With the moon here, there's probably still some illusion. There's also... Oh, boy. My hematite just fell. Um, illusion, fear, not necessarily seeing things clearly... Darkness. You could, you could very well be going through a dark night of the soul, Aquarius. Not Aquarius, I'm so sorry. Um, Gemini, you could be going through a dark night of the soul. But 
I feel like, because I just said Aquarius, I mean, granted, I just did the Aquarius reading, but you might want to watch the Aquarius reading. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, or you could have Aquarius in your chart somewhere that will help you understand um, what's really going on in your life. And this could be, if it's not a major placement, this could be a life cycle that's that's you're starting to, you have the opportunity to understand on a deeper level and heal. You might want to look at where um, Gemini or Aquarius is in which house um, these signs are, okay? First set of surrounding energies for you, Gemini, what does spirit want you to know? You've got the hanged man, introspection, okay? So you might be in a pretty precarious position. Even though you have this newfound freedom here, you still feel stuck, possibly. But ultimately, this is helping you see things from a different perspective. This is enlightenment. So the moon being could symbolize a dark night of the soul. And so now you're going through the... And that the hanged man definitely could talk about that. So some of you might be going through a dark night of the soul. And you're gaining enlightenment, wisdom. You're, see, you're having an opportunity to see things from a deeper perspective, from a different perspective, okay? The hanged man is coupled with the devil. Yeah, Capricorn energy, also Pisces energy with the hanged man. Um, you might want to check those those two readings. But so you're gaining some wisdom, some insight as to some things that you may have been neg uh, uh, negatively attached to. Um, codependency issues, potentially. Um, something that's just been holding you back, something that you've been atta uh, attached to. Now, I love the way the devil is depicted in this deck because it, you see here this woman is sitting underneath a pomegranate tree. The pomegranate is a symbol of abundance, okay? So even though things may look bleak and grim right now, there's still abundance around you, okay? Second set of surrounding energies. What does spirit want you to know, Gemini? We've got the Knight of Pentacles. So yes, some of you have become recently single. Um, and so yes, you may have dealt with a breakup. Now, what the Knight of Pentacles talks about also is abundance. And I was just saying, I was just saying, in this devil card, you've got all those pomegranates. Pomegranates are a symbol of abundance, okay? Nine of Pentacles is coupled with ah, the Knight of Pentacles. So here's the deal, Gemini. Moving slowly, okay? Step by step, piece by piece. Slow and steady wins the race. Take your time. Take your time with this situation that you're going through right now because the more, the deeper, the greater understanding you can come to in this situation, the better the better off you'll be in the future. Yeah, the better prepared you'll be in the future to not recreate this situation or this type of situation again, okay? Your current challenge, you've got the hermit spending some time alone. This is also Virgo. Might want to watch the Virgo reading. You might have Virgo in your chart. Who knows? Actually, you might want to watch the Virgo reading because it was, now that I'm thinking back on it, it's a similar energy. It's almost as if somebody had everything, and I wish I had said it in this way then, but now, whatever. <laughs> but it's almost as if in the Virgo reading, somebody had it all, but didn't follow through with it. Was caught up with fear and... Um, caught up in fear because the devil came out with the page of swords in the challenge part. And then the final, the final message was the 10 of swords with something else I can't remember right now. Oh, the seven of pentacles. And somehow they were seeing how they are, they are reaping what they have sown. So you might want to watch that because the hermit came out in that reading as well. And also the nine of pentacles um, is Virgo energy as well. So Gemini, if you, you might have Virgo in your chart, or you might just want to see where Virgo might be in your, in uh, what planet might be in Virgo, planets, if it's multiple. Um, and then also you might want to look at where, which house Virgo is in for you, and that might help you gain some greater understanding about things, okay? But your challenge here is to go within, to do the introspective work, to heal, take some time alone. To yourself, okay? Maybe even just be single for a while. Go it slow. Go it slow, but go it solo, yeah? The Hermit is coupled with... Woohoo! The Ace of Cups. This is exactly what I was just saying, guys. Take some time alone to fill up your own cup. To refill your own cup. 
take some time alone to practice self-care, to cultivate self-love, okay? That is your challenge right now. Final message for you, Gemini. What does spirit want you to know? Four of Swords. What did I just, what, what did I say? What did I say? Take some time away. Meditate. And now the Four of Swords is like the minor arcana version of the Hanged Man. All right? So uh, surrounding you right now, you have this spiritual cycle of the Hanged Man. So your current advice or the final closing message, we open the message with, with <laughs> we open the message with the Hanged Man. And now we're closing the message with the Four of Swords, which is similar energy. Take some time away to heal, to learn, to pray. To manifest something new, yeah? Four swords is coupled with ah, the queen of pentacles. Ooh. Nurture yourself. Practice self-care. The queen of pentacles is very nurturing, very caring, very loving, but she's also stern and logical, all right? She, she can be a hard ass, but she does it from love. She wants you to succeed, so she's going to challenge you to be your best to be your best self. The Queen of Pentacles is very much Capricorn energy, and you have the devil here. So you have more Capricorn energy. You might want to watch the Capricorn reading. Okay? Capricorn might be in your chart. But also what I'm saying, what I'm really getting here is to cultivate this uh, uh, take your time to to take this time to rest and recuperate and meditate and allow yourself to cultivate this queen of pentacles energy, this nurturing, loving, caring, supportive, mother-like energy. Self-care, all right? You have a lot of Pisces energy here too with the moon and the hanged man. Also, the moon can be looked at as cancer because cancer is ruled by the moon. And I do see the page or the knight of cups as Pisces. Okay. There it is, Gemini. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Yeah? All right, guys. Give me just a second here. Let me just reshuffle. Reshuffle. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being silly. All right. Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. Now, me being an Aries, Libra is my opposite sign. And there's been a lot... Libra. Okay. The Six of Wands. There could be some sort of victory coming through for you here. All right? Um, you might have to make a decision, too, with the Two of Wands. Now, victory may come through as you make a decision... Um, but why I'm mentioning my opposite sign here of Aries is because there have been a few readings where it was the Taurus and Scorpio reading and then the Cancer and um, uh, Capricorn reading. They are opposites of each other and they were coming out in each other's readings. So we'll see what happens here. Um, but yeah, check that out. Okay, we've got the lovers here. All right, Libra, there's a choice that needs to be made. You could be dealing with a, uh, a Gemini, um, and then there's five of wands here underneath the deck. Um, but you do, also, you could be connecting with a soulmate here. Now, this choice could also be in service of you. Choice over vice or virtue. Are you going to choose vice being what everyone else wants for you or for their own selves? Or are you going to choose yourself, right? But you could have a soulmate coming into your life, a divine partner, twin flame, whatever. <laughs> um, Libra. Libra, 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 Libra. Okay, cool. So, let's get into your oracle card. And then we'll get into the tarot spread. So, for Libra, what have we got for you, Libra? Give me a second. Let me just shuffle like this first. All right, Libra. Let's see what we've got for you. What does spirit want you to know, Libra? What does spirit want you to know? Prosperity. Okay. Well, that did just come out for the Gemini reading. Oh, 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 oh. And then you've got Beloved. <laughs> Prepare for your life partner. Romance is returning to your relationship. Believe you are lovable. All right. So um, 
and, and the lovers came out. So you could have some sort of soulmate relationship potentially coming through. You could have um, a divine partnership, twin flame situation coming through for you. All right, Libra. So let's get into it. Let's see what we've got here. Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. Libra, 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 Libra. All right, Libra. One more shuffle for you. What does spirit want you to know, Libra? It is very, very windy, guys. I don't know if you, I don't know if you can hear that, but if you hear some weird howling sound, it's the wind. <laughs> And it's fitting that the wind got so strong while I was doing the air signs. <laughs> All right. Overall energy. We've got the King of Swords. This could potentially be you. More, um, I see the King of Swords more as Aquarius. I see the Queen of Swords um, as... Well, yeah. I don't know. I haven't really decided. I haven't really figured that one out yet. But I do see the King of Swords as Aquarius. But this could also be you. Okay. Um, decisiveness, objectivity, um, detachment. Okay. King of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Five of Cups, and here you are officially showing up for your reading, Justice. All right, so... You're weighing the options right now, Libra. You're doing a lot of work. You might be immersing yourself in work, focusing on your pentacles. But I also get, especially with the five of cups here, I get you're doing a lot of inner work, okay? There's a lot of looking back on the past, on your own actions, is what I'm getting mostly, um, and coming to terms with it. Working towards bringing justice into your life. Working towards balancing the scales. Okay? All right. So for your first set of surrounding energies, Libra, what does spirit want you to know? You've got strength. So you could be dealing with a Leo. You could have Leo in your chart. Um... This is you having the strength to persevere, to pull through it, especially with all this inner work I feel like is happening right now. Uh, or maybe if you're just, if you're just immersing yourself in, in physical work, like in your, in your career, your finances, you know, whatever, you just, it, it's because you're having, you're just putting forth the strength to get through it. You might be going through a really tough period right now. Libra with the five of cups. I mean, it's interesting because all of the air sign readings have just been kind of tumultuous. The five of cups has come out for all three of you. So the air signs are really going through something right now. Strength is coupled with the two of wands. Okay. So needing to make a decision here and having the strength to face the situation so that you can make a decision and really being as objective as you possibly can with the king of cups. I'm sorry, the king of swords, king of cups. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Libra. What does spirit want you to know? We've got the Queen of Cups. Interesting. I just talked I just said the King of Cups by accident when I was talking about King of Swords. But the Queen of Cups, this could be Cancer energy. <clears throat> um, but this is intuition. What I'm getting here for you, Libra, is you're needing to Either you're needing to keep your emotions to yourself or you are keeping your emotions to yourself, okay? Um But this is intuition. This is intuitive nature. Queen of Cups is coupled with... Good Lord! Look at that! I did say the King of Cups, didn't I? Boop! There he is, the King of Cups. This is counterparts, okay? This is partnership, but also this is balancing the emotions. This is balance between masculine and feminine energy, all right? Um, wow. Wow. So what I'm getting here for you, Libra, is you have a, you, number one, I mean, beloved, prepare for your life partner. Here are the counterparts right here. 
all right? The king and the queen of cups. But what I'm also getting for you is there's a balance between masculine and feminine energy that is here, that is on underneath, underneath, that's under the surface, all right? And from there, you are approaching your life or your situation, whatever it is you're dealing with, from a King of Swords situation or a King of Swords point of view. But that's ba that is mostly because you have the balance of, mo of emotion, masculinity and femininity underneath the surface. You got Cancer and you got Scorpio energy here. So you might have either of those in your chart. You might be in some sort of s involvement with somebody that is either a Cancer or a Scorpio. Maybe even a Leo because of the strength here. Okay. Well, that's really cool. Do 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 do. <laughs> Your current challenge, Libra. What does spirit want you to know? Judgment, transformation. Okay, rebirth. Judgment is coupled with temperance. Woo! Patience, balance, divine timing, alchemy. Okay. Sagittarius energy. So you're needing to be, you're needing to have patience. Don't spend too much time focusing on the three cups that have spilt. Okay? Feel your emotions surrounding the situation, but don't wallow in it for too long. Because you're just wasting your time and your energy. Okay? Closing message, Libra. What does spirit want you to know? Four of Wands. My, my, my. Balance. Union. Steady, uh, uh, stable foundation. Good foundation. If you are in the process of connecting with someone, you've got, spirit is saying to you, you've got a solid foundation here. But also, just talking about yourself here, Spirit is saying you have a very good, solid foundation, Libra. Okay? Four of Wands is coupled with Queen of Swords. We've got two counterparts. This is so cool, Libra. You've got the King and the Queen of Swords, and you've got the King and the Queen of Cups. So I'm hearing emotional stability and mental stability. I mean, this is freaking fantastic, Libra. And so what Spirit was saying here about, um, you know, the balance, your foundation, your, this, and when they're saying, personally talk about yourself, your foundation is solid. All right. And with the Queen of Swords here, because of that, you're really super discerning enough to cut out what it is that no longer serves you. OK. Without any sort of argument. So whereas the King of Swords hears out, hears out the argument, the Queen of Swords makes that final decision and says this no longer serves us. We're cutting it out. Yeah, that's what I was thinking earlier. So the King of Swords to me is, is like Aquarius energy. The Queen of Swords is Libra energy. Because the Li Libra's, well, Queen of Swords is not about the drama. She's about bringing the balance into a situation. And she does it without concern to the emotions of the situation. Both the King and the Queen of Swords are emotionally detached. And when it comes to a connection with someone else, be as discerning as possible. Cut away all of the fluff, all of the junk, all of the stuff that keeps you from seeing or understanding that you have this solid foundation. Okay, Libra? All right. So there it is, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. And I look forward to connecting with you again soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.